our planet Earth is composed of many landmarks and features of amazing, fascinating and wonderful qualities. Although these wonders have amazed many of people of the primitive age, yet the hidden meaning behind these features is unfolded with the advancement of science in the current era. One of these features is the origin of oceans and seas. Today we are going to talk about the origin of this enormous continuous body of water encircling the earth, that is the oceans and seas, and how these bodies developed with the progress of time. So let's start. Although there is no clear physical evidence of the formation of oceans, but there are some evidence-based theories based on which scientists devised the possible factors behind the formation of oceans. Let's look into them one by one. Formation of Earth First of all, our planet Earth formed some 4.5 billion years ago when the solar system fell into its current layout. After the Earth compacted into its current layout, it was slowly warmed by the radioactive and compressional heating from the Earth core. Earth's interior continued to warm until the gases escaped and continued to change the composition of atmosphere. Gaseous Cloud The gases released from the interior or core changed the composition of atmosphere. With a rich gaseous mixture of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and nitrogen. Alongside there started happening the photodissociation of water. Photodissociation is the breaking of water molecules due to the striking of light, which resulted in the formation of hydrogen and oxygen molecules in the upper atmosphere. Eventually, with the passage of time, hydrogen escaped and oxygen remained in the atmosphere. This oxygen reacted with the surface metals of the earth and what remained thereafter was the excess of water vapors. Water vapors The excess of water vapors eventually caused it to become liquid or condensate due to the increased pressure which started increasing the level of water in the lower parts or depression of Earth's surface which we call the ocean basins. This led to the formation of nascent or early oceans. Oceans that we see today. The present form of oceans and the quantity of water resulted of the cycles of rapid evaporation and condensation of water vapors. After the beginning of early life on Earth in the form of bacteria and algae, oxygen produced by photosynthesis outweighed the oxygen produced by photodissociation, which means that oxygen produced by living organisms was enough that it did not require the oxygen by photodissociation. As the splitting of water vapors stopped, this led to the increased condensation of water vapors, which increased the level of water in the oceans to the level that we see today. Scientists also propose that giant meteors containing water struck the nascent oceans, which increased the level of water in the oceans 
to the level that we see today. How ocean water became salty? Well, you must remember the high concentration of carbon dioxide in the early atmosphere. This gas is what led to make our oceans salty. How? Let's examine. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere reacted with the ocean water and made it acidic. This acidic water reacted with the rocks and produced salt. This is how our oceans became salty. Well, this was a brief video regarding the origin of oceans and seas. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for more. Thanks for watching.